never wondered how I focus my videos. <laughs> Struggle is so very, oh God. It's kind of better. I just started to embrace the inner pumpkin as, wow, that was the most basic thing I've ever said in my life. Yes, I feel all the time. You're in my dreams all channel for today's video. It is the third day of Utober and we're doing my fall essentials, which you guys can't see right now, but I have them all laid out in front of me and it's festive AF. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, the background has been changing a little bit. We've got my, my good old black pumpkin, serious black that you guys helped me name on Twitter a few weeks ago, which reminds me if you guys aren't following me already, definitely be sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram, which I'll pop up on the screen. Um, so you guys can help me name my other future baby pumpkins. Other than that, I have a lot to show you guys in this video, so without further ado, let's just jump right into all the coziest of fall essentials. So first things first, when it comes to fall essentials, I had to start with a lippy. Saying the word lippy makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. I had to start with a lip product. Yes, come join us. Come on. Let's go. Jump up. Good boy. You wanna hang out with us? So this fall, one of my essentials for lip products has to be my M Cosmetics. This is in the color Faded Clementine. So it's just like really nice. It's literally the color of my sweater and pretty much everything else that you'll see in YouTuber videos. I'll do a swatch for you guys since I'm not wearing it now. Um, but it's just like this super nice, like orangey, it's like, I don't even know, it's like a matte orange color and it's the most beautiful lip product in the world. Not to mention I have this like, I have this weird thing where I like the smell of her uh, like lip products. This liquid lipstick has been my freaking life. And the other one that I've been wearing, which is on my lips right now, is called, I think it's called French Nude. But between those two colors, those have been my go-to this fall. I've embraced all the pumpkin within. So I highly recommend you guys picking this up if you guys are looking for like an orange lip color. And if you guys aren't feeling so bold, then definitely check out the French Nude as well because it's also a bomb color. And and next, when it comes to essentials for the fall, is I have to have a good fall playlist. And for the longest time, I've been updating my crisp leaves and lattes playlist, which if you guys follow me on Spotify, you might already know that. But this year, I just wanted to start fresh. I wanted something new. So I made a new one this year called Sweater Weather, and I'll link it down below for you guys in the description bar. But Sweater Weather has definitely been my go-to playlist for the last little bit. I've been really obsessed with it because it's a bit happier than my crisp leaves and lattes playlist. I feel like in the past falls, I've been a little bit more sad and this fall I'm feeling very happy so we've got like you know more upbeat songs you know just like happy acoustic cozy like under a hundred blankets of string lights in your room vibes you know so having a fall playlist is definitely essential and if you guys decide to make any fall playlists tag me in them because I'd love to give them a listen next which you guys don't even know this yet my Starbucks here. My next essential for the fall time is my Starbucks order. And no, it is not an essential. And if you're gonna be making coffee at home, I highly recommend you guys pick up the Hazelnut Silk Almond for coffees. This is like a coffee whitener. And this is like my at-home coffee essential, especially for the fall time, get the hazelnut one. It is the most amazing thing you will ever put in your coffee. But if we're talking Starbucks orders, my essential for the fall time has been between two. It's either I'm feeling a little bit on the sugar-free side, so I go for the skinny cinnamon dolce latte made with coconut milk, or well, like I got today, when I feel like treating myself, this is gonna be the most bomb thing you guys have ever tasted, I swear. Go in and get a half vanilla, half toffee nut latte, so they put half of the pumps of vanilla, half the pumps of toffee nut, and then get it with coconut milk. This will change your life. It kinda tastes like a toffee nut cupcake, and it is everything you need this fall and more. And it is honestly just like the best thing ever. And if you guys are wondering, I ended up picking up um, a tumbler cup from Starbucks because one, to save the cups, and two, just because I've wanted one for a really long time, and I honestly just think that this has, it goes with my vibe, you know? That said, if you guys have any Starbucks drink recommendations for the fall, pop them down below. Unfortunately, the pumpkin spice latte is still not vegan. I don't know why Starbucks hates us so much, but we're working on it. Just keep signing all of them petitions, you know? <laughs> it's sad, but I'm serious. I actually have signed many. And of course, we have to do fall candles. I, I think I've come to the conclusion, guys, of what my favorite fall candle is. And it has to be Autumn by Bath & Body Works. I love all of the fall candles this time of year, but there's something about Autumn that I like the most. I think, one, it was the first one that I actually ever bought from Bath & Body Works. I remember vividly, it was the year I went away to college that I first fell in love with fall because I was away from, you know, my hometown and I was starting to actually just really kind of get to know myself 
as corny as that sounds. And I fell in love with fall that year and my sister came down and we went to Bath and Body Works and I remember picking up my first ever candles and I decided to go with autumn and leaves. And while I do like leaves, it's a little bit more on the cinnamony side. The thing I love about autumn is it smells like morning in the fall time. Like it's just got such a crisp but like apple smell to it and it's just like the most comforting Oh, it's just the most comforting one. I also really do enjoy the pumpkin caramel swirl as well, but this one has to be my favorite. Or sweater weather. But this one. Maybe sweater weather second. Then pumpkin caramel swirl. I just like all of them. And of course, the best part about fall is fashion. So when it comes to fashion staples, I feel like my three staples this year has been booties, jackets, and sweaters. Those are like my three go-to's. I'm like, I'm either going to base it off of wearing really sick boots with it, wearing a really cute sweater, or wearing a jacket that just like pulls the whole outfit together. So I pulled my favorite of each. I mean, if we're being realistic, this is probably my favorite sweater this year, and this is the one that I got from Shopo. It's like fuzzy and the cutest, warmest, orangiest sweater ever. But my second favorite is probably this one here. And no, I'm not just self-promoing this, I swear to God. This is actually gonna be sold on Coe's, but I am obsessed with the fit of this sweater. It's a little shorter in the front and longer in the back, but this actually is one of the most flattering black sweaters that I have. You can wear this over skirts without it being too bulky, but you can also wear it with like leggings if you're just having a lazy day. And then as for boots, I picked up this pair from Lola Chutique. You guys may have already seen them on like my Instagram and stuff. I lost my pair of brown boots and I love booties, but sometimes it's nice to wear something without a bit of a heel. So I decided to pick these up and I've been wearing them so much despite Despite how hot it's been they go just over your knee and they're super open and like floppy at the top and then the back is sick because they like lace up all the way from the bottom and then there's like a big bow here so those are the boots that I picked up from Lola Chutique and if they're still available I'll link them down below but I've been wearing these so much and I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of them for the next like at least two years and then last but not least my favorite jacket has been this one here I have a fall haul coming up in my youtuber schedule where you guys will see a lot of the stuff that I'm actually naming but this jacket is from Shopo and it's like a cross between a jacket and a cardigan it's a bit thinner almost like blouse material which is nice because though it is fall here in Canada it's been a little bit warm so you can get away with wearing things like this it actually is like a trench coat and it goes super long and hangs really loose and I got Greg to unstitch the pockets so I can actually stick my hands in them so this has been my absolute favorite jacket I wonder if you guys can take a wild guess at like what my favorite color has been and of course the second favorite to fashion food um, when it comes to fall I think my favorite food in the fall time has to be pumpkin loaf and again it's one of those things that I have to make at home because it's really hard to find vegan but I have a really really good pumpkin loaf recipe and leave the actual recipe in the description bar down below I've made it on camera with you guys before and it is the most incredible thing especially for like mornings with your coffee oh my god it is like a life-changing experience I swear so definitely check that out and if you guys decide to make it let me know and tell me if you guys like it but pumpkin loaf is probably like my favorite sweet food essential and then as for savory food I would probably say butternut squash soup soup Ooh, in general man. is so good but butternut squash soup is just like it should just be like a whole section of its own in the grocery store because I would actually like sell it out and again if you guys are looking for a good vegan butternut squash recipe I'll pop one down below next when it comes to fall essentials what would this video be without slippers my old slippers guys they got a hole in them and it was like the saddest most upsetting thing in the world and I was gonna go buy new ones but then I ended up finding these in the back of my closet and I actually kind of forgot I had them which I feel like are so great for the fall and also you can wear them right into Christmas time I believe I got these last year that said I think I'm due to pick up a new pair of slippers but these ones have been my favorite recently I literally just took them off my feet they're so cute and just like furry on the inside and comfy so I have to say slippers are definitely an essential in the fall and then next, of course, we had to do a favorite mug. One of my favorite mugs is this one here. I actually picked this up in the summer from Chapters in Canada. If you guys go on Indigo, you might be able to still grab it. It's just this orange mug that says, Good Morning Pumpkin, and then it has a pumpkin around it, which is the most adorable thing ever. When I'm not using it, I leave it up for display because it's just so fall festive and adorable. That said, I'm currently waiting for my new Coe's Fall mug to get here and it says sweater weather and it has a little mini pumpkin on the back. I'm waiting patiently for that, which I feel like is gonna be another fall fave of mine. This is something I'll drink out of like in the middle of April, just to summon fall, you know? And of course, what is fall without some good established fall reading material? When it comes to my favorite books for the fall time, definitely the Harry Potter series 
tops the cake, but I'm gonna have to say that Hush Hush is a very, very close second, if not a tie. These two series are not only perfect to read in the fall time, but they are like, I've never been so addicted to two series before in my life. I read Hush Hush last year, and I'm not kidding you, it, I got so sucked in. If you guys remember, I actually went as Mrs. Patch for Halloween last year. That's how obsessed I was with this series. This one's more of like a darker vibe, I guess you could say, whereas we all already know what the Harry Potter series is like. It's more magical, whimsical, things like that. But those are my two Fall Essential series, but if you guys have any recommendations, definitely feel free to leave it down below. And if you guys haven't seen it already, I posted my fall reading list earlier this week, so I'll pop that up on the screen if you guys want to go watch it. And last but not least, when it comes to fall activities, I feel like my fave fall activity has to either be apple picking or carving pumpkins, both of which are on my fall bucket list this year. Apple picking can be really fun because you're eating the apples, you get to wear a cute outfit, you're like out of your house, but carving pumpkins is like, you can put on Halloween Town in the background, carve funny faces into pumpkins and then have them displayed in your home. So it's, it's such a toss up between the two and I feel like it has to be a tie. So that is it for my fall obsession slash favorite slash essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave the list down below in the description box and let me know your answers to what all of my fall essential questions are. And other than that, I hope you guys have been enjoying Utober. Big thumbs up if you guys have been. I love you guys to the moon and back and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Hey, come here, darling.